So is it niche or niche? I'm not really sure which one you say, but I'm John Jance with Duct Tape Marketing, and that's what I want to talk about today. And I'm from the Midwest. I call it niche. There's a whole lot of newly minted experts out there telling you that all you need to do to grow your business, to create an agency, to have this digital marketing thing is to pick a niche and then run Facebook ads at it. And, and here's the deal. If you're going to truly grow a business, I'm not going to say that that advice is a scam. I'm just going to tell you I don't agree with it. If you're just getting started in business, there are several real issues with this idea of showing up and saying, here's who I serve. This is the one part of the market, the left-handed plumbers are who I'm going to go after. The problem with that is that there may be an opportunity trying to serve that niche. But what if you get into it and you hate it? What if that's not who you like working with? What if you're not good at it? What if you don't have a solution for the problems that they have and now all of a sudden you're boxed in? You've spent a whole great deal of energy. Maybe you've built a website just for that industry and now you have to actually start over again. Or let's say this. Let's say you actually experienced some success and you serve that niche and you've built a little business around it and all of a sudden you're just doing the same thing over and over and over again you're creating campaigns websites messages they're all the same and it really stifles your creativity i know over the years i've gone into a business a remodeling contractor for for example and they will often say have you served any other remodeling contractors and i get that why clients think that that's important but what they miss is the fact that I haven't served other remodeling contractors, but I've served hundreds of other industries and I can bring solutions and thoughts and ideas that nobody else in your industry is bringing because I serve those other markets. Now, I understand why people kind of fall for this approach. It makes sense. You can repeat things. You can get really good at things. But here's what I also know. Until you go out and serve clients, until you go out and have certain clients in certain industries, maybe an array of industries, you have no idea who makes an ideal client for you. And many times, and I've seen this over and over again, what will happen is that you will find that you want to go a certain direction and then you understand that you just don't like that direction. And you can't learn that until you actually do the work. So here's what I would suggest that you do. Go out there, get clients, get all kinds of clients. You may gravitate towards a niche because you get good at it, you like working with them, great. Then go for it. But don't come out of the box thinking that you're going to identify an opportunity and say, okay, here's where I'm going. Find who makes an ideal client. You might just find that you like working with different types of people because I know I love learning about new industries. I love going into new industries. That's what drives me. But I also love working with people who value what I do, who like to invest in their business, like to invest in their industry. And so I can look for that behavior, if you will, as a niche, not just the industry that they're in. Okay, that was today's soapbox speech. A lot of it's driven by the fact that there's so many people telling you that that's what you need to do. And I'm telling you, don't niche until you understand who makes an ideal client for you.